we have two levels in astronomy. Level one, which is more of an introduction to astronomy to get to get kids uh, uh, excited about what's out there and, and be able to use the equipment and to explore. But then we have astronomy level two, which is on the research side. I think one of the things that uh, is exciting with the astronomy research program is the fact that our students are able to access research and do research that are probably on the college level or beyond. Before quarantine, we would have our own groups and we would work on research projects and when we get time, maybe in the evenings, we'd be able to collect our own data at our school observatory. We all work in small groups and we're assigned like a little project that we're interested in and we do, we use our observatory for data collection and we do a lot of background research with the help of Mrs. Stoltz, our teacher. And we, we've learned to write abstracts and the basics of our research paper. So we've learned a lot about astronomy and the whole process of making a paper. I've learned a lot about teamwork and definitely we all have our own strengths and weaknesses. So it's nice to learn from other people's strengths and people can learn from me. It's a really good collaborative process and I learn about how to work with people, collaborating, communicating well. And it's a really great learning experience. I definitely think working in groups for the projects is really helpful because I get closer to a lot of my friends in the programs and we get to work on projects together, which helps us all grow academically. And we have a really great supportive teacher who's always updating on the current astronomy news and giving us support and resources we need. So it's really great. And I feel like it's like as a program as a whole, we're like a team working together. The thing that, uh, that stands out in almost all of our programs is not the equipment and the technology and the innovation, those are great. Actually, it's world class. Those are things that's not available anywhere else, but it's really the teachers. Um, Faith Stoltz is one of our phenomenal teachers that actually exudes passion and she instills that passion in our students. And that really is a cornerstone of a lot of our programs where it's passionate teachers utilizing innovative uh, technology and access to really inspire the students. In the summer of my junior year, I was helping Mrs. Stills create lesson plans for the first level of the astronomy research program. I've learned that I've definitely really liked teaching. It's something that I've kind of, I don't know, suspected from a while ago. And with the astronomy research program, that's kind of affirmed my uh, belief in that. So I've basically tried to get as many opportunities for teaching as I can. It's a really cool thing to see people loving the same things as I do. So I'd say that's one of the best parts, really. We are to ha hold a community night. It's like a star party for the public, and we invited the elementary school students and anyone in our schools. And so we had telescopes set up, and Mrs. Stoltz is running tours of the observatory. And we had little mini like programs, like we had like coloring books and all that. And it was really fun. It was really a nice event. I think one of the big points of AMSI and learning is for students to be able to showcase what they've done and to be able to share that with the community. And for us to be able to open up a community night where students, parents, and other interested folks can come in and share that passion together is just another embodiment of the mission that we have at AMSI. I think Mrs. Stoltz came up with really good ideas for um, how we can still continue the whole research process, our connections with astronomy during the whole pandemic, and how we can really do it online. I feel like the students have been also actively trying to find ways that they can do research, that they can continue studying stars and all that. So it's really cool, and we have a lot of freedom. So we get to do what we want, and it's really enjoyable. So obviously the pandemic has been a very difficult thing for every program that we have. Um, astronomy especially because it's so uh, geared towards physical presence and viewing. But the kids actually, when I talked to them, they said they were collaborating, they were learning uh, distant, in a distant way. Uh, the teachers were speaking into them with guest speakers. Uh, we're actually looking at partnering now with Chabot uh, Museum and uh, Space and Science to actually uh, access their remote telescope. So we can actually do remote viewing as well as we move forward. And so, a lot of things that we do here is innovating in the light of difficulties and this actually has helped us innovate in the way we approach astronomy. And I was actually talking to one of the students recently uh, and they were telling me about the, the research in gravitational waveforms and how it affects time and space and I was just blown away at the type of things that our kids are learning. 
I definitely entered the program knowing nothing about astronomy. I had no prior knowledge. Like the only knowledge I had was like, I watched the movie Interstellar and that was it. The research program was the first thing that really showed me astronomy. And from there, it's just what I've been wanting to do. All my activities outside of school are astronomy based because it's, it's my hobby and something I enjoy. And I'm actively looking to pursue like an astronomy or astrophysics major in college because of astronomy. None of that would have happened if I hadn't had that exposure from the research program, which is really, really great. So it's really helped me find what I enjoy and it's helped me connect with people like amateur and professional astronomers. And it's helped me build a lot of connections and really grow as a scientist and a student as well.